This video is an explanation and a demonstration of my mod Booster Guidance that can fly and land a vessel at any destination just as a Falcon 9 booster does. My demo will show a Falcon 9 launch, boost back and landing hopefully fairly close to how SpaceX does it, at least I hope you agree. I just selected a uh, destination target near the hangar now uh, and then we'll take off and I'll explain things as we go. So my aim has been to provide the best possible simulation of a Falcon 9 booster landing and in a mod that's hopefully easy to use and provides a pretty general solution um, should work with different vessels uh, and in different situations. So I've attempted to do something like this a few times over the years uh, but I've never really got very good reliability. It would work well in one situation um, after quite a bit of tuning. Uh, then I'd try a different situation, you know, fly to a different altitude, fly in a different direction. And then it wouldn't work so well and I'd tune it more for that situation. But it, you know, it was never any tuning. So when I wrote this mod, I came up with some new realizations um, on the process which have made it much more reliable. So I've been keeping an eye on the apoapsis in the bottom left corner. We want to get between about 150 kilometers and 200 kilometers at our peak altitude. So we should be cutting the engines back now. Okay, we're still going upwards. Um, I'm just going to coast for a little bit until we get out of the atmosphere uh, beyond, beyond 70 kilometers altitude. Uh, before doing the boost back burn. Before I do that I'm going to toggle off the two outer engines uh, with an action group pressing one and then set the number of engines to use for the landing burn. Boost back, so the rocket swings around pretty violently and heads directly back to the launch site. Uh, just horizontally, we're not going to thrust upwards or downwards, we just want to reduce the horizontal component to send us back to the launch site. So we're basically trying to move that red cross until it falls exactly on top of the yellow cross, the um, desired landing point. So now we're in the coasting phase and it gives me quite a bit of time to talk uh, a bit more about the mod. So I mentioned this mod is more reliable than in my previous efforts. And the reason was um, it's all really about predicting where the rocket's going to go um, in order to, to steer it. And previously I'd simulated something like a, a ballistic trajectory uh, back to the landing site, but I didn't consider the uh, engine firings that would happen on the way back, and these um, significantly determine where, where you'll end up, particularly if your trajectory isn't um, close to vertical, if it's got a horizontal component then when you fire the engine it changes your horizontal velocity a lot and you need to factor that in. Um, so what I was able to do is, is simulate the trajectory of the rest of the flight all the way to landing many times a second considering all the engine burns um, and do this using the same code with the same um, kind of control loop and controller. Um, as used in the main code. So it meant the simulation was going to be uh, accurately represent what would actually happen uh, when the rocket got to that same point. Um, as long as you could accurately simulate things like air resistance and uh, rocket thrust 
So it took quite a bit of time to work all that out and I took some code out of the uh, trajectories mod um, to calculate the um, aerodynamic forces on the rocket. So you can see this happening for real when you use the mod. If you change any of the parameters for the uh, later stages in flight, um, you will find your target error changes. So if you, if you change the re-entry burn altitude or the velocity um, or the number of engines you currently have added to, um, because the landing burn will either use the number of engines active at that point or it will use the number you've set. Um, so it, it will change the rest of the trajectory if the landing burn changes. Um, and you also see it change the uh, the altitude to activate the landing burn as you change the number of engines. Now I've had um, logging switched on, um, so this will log various interesting parameters about your position and velocity and the target error against time um, for both the simulations. Uh, and the uh, at the actual point in time, um, and this is what you're seeing um, in the corner of the screen there. Uh, you're seeing that logging with a with a marker of where we are at the moment. Okay, we're just coming up on the re-entry burn at about 55 kilometers. Um, this is going to reduce our velocity, um, sometimes very significantly, not so in this case, and that just reduces the um, aerodynamic heating and makes the speed more manageable um, for the rest of the flight. Also, the we're going to steer slightly away from retrograde to try and reduce that target error a bit. And you can see that coming down from like 400 meters to, to under 100 now. So things happen pretty fast now. Uh, we're steering by grid fins. We've got about 60 seconds to go until the landing. Uh, we're going to keep trying minimizing that error with pretty small corrections on the grid fins. Uh, get some pretty pretty high aerodynamic heating now. The air is down to 40 meters. Uh, all looking good. Now about this point we start seeing some quite large swings in attitude. Um, we kind of hit a resident, uh, resonance um, with the grid fin steering and the error moving in sort of 9 degrees out of phase. So 
I can reduce that by just taking the gain of the uh, arrow descent right down. At least that's what I do for now. I'm about to hit landing burn. There we go. Gears down. And just coming in the final bit of the soft landing. And we've landed. So to make it clear, that flight was pretty much automatic um, from boost back onwards. Um, except I needed to deploy the air brakes and the grid fins uh, and deploy the landing gear and reduce the gain uh, near the end there. And I'll probably automate all these things before I release the mod. So, thanks very much um, for watching. So in my next video I'll be showing how to do this with realism overhaul. Uh, which, which already works with this mod. It's a little bit more tricky though. See you then.